I just twisted just a few minutes ago and it's like shooting pain went all throughout my ribs. It's like I pulled a rib muscle or something. Jake, get in, please don't get on me right now. I think Beauty might still be here or left. Maybe some trigger points. Just like, can you get those kale that we cut and throw them to the pig port? She is still here. I think she's got to leave in like two minutes. I pulled my ribs bad. Oh no! I can barely move. Oh no, Justin. Is that one? No. It's all so tight. Yeah. It is so tight in here, Justin. Hold on, let me look and see trigger points for the chest because they're specific ones. You're helping. Thank you for being such a helper. And there, on both sides or just one? Just this side. Okay, that one? For sure. <laughs> you are my patient today. I can't use it everywhere. You're still a little bit too strong for me, huh? That happens to me, I don't know, quite a bit, maybe three, four times a year. It's the weirdest movement. Not even a weird movement, but just a certain movement at a certain time. Just, God. Rebecca's trigger point massage really helped me a lot. This is doable. I don't think I'm gonna side, but this is doable. Doug, can I get the ladies? Hmm? Can I get the ladies? Stud, don't run her off. Not this morning. Phyllis, you can come around, honey. You can let him pass. She's gonna walk all the way out to the pasture. And then we're gonna have to walk her all the way back. Sure enough. She don't care if my ribs are busted. All right, let's stop the nonsense. Let's go in. You know the drill. For those of you who don't know, when you have a physical pain, there's trigger points somewhere, and usually not in the same place. I don't know. I, I see it kind of like as a knot in the muscle, and that needs to be massaged out two or three times a day, 20 seconds each. I had them all over my back and chest. And although the pain isn't completely gone, it's much more bearable. Flossie, you're the best. There's this pumpkin uh -huh. in there. Okay. It was leaning up on a mound. Okay. And it fell and hit its stem and cracked it because I lifted it up and looked. Yeah. I set it back down. Do you want me to pick it and just let it harden out on our porch? Yeah, if the stem's broke, you yes. gotta pick it. All right, Jonah, Randolph's here. I have to show him the the leak. Randolph, I was hoping you would have brought a bigger coffee this morning. <laughs> I just got a medium today. There's some <laughs> there's some issues in here. There is. Happened overnight. This, this water was dripping all night. Oh, wow. Yep. And I even shut it off this morning, and I guess it started dripping again. That's why we have a plate here. Rebecca must have put a plate here. Really? Yeah, and it was so bad, it's leaking downstairs. Good gracious. So she's wiped it up with a towel. So, is there any way we can get this cabinet out of here to dry this out? Oh, I guess you didn't. Did you take this whole cabinet out? No, I never took it out. I've got it sealed up. Oh, okay. Uh, well, it's what you think. I mean, is it going to mold? I can take this vent off of here. Yeah. And I've got a little, one of them fans that are, Okay. You could do that. Too. Yeah, we got to dry it out real good and somehow get it to stop leaking. I guess that won't matter if... I don't know why it started leaking. It ain't dripping no more. But see, I got it to stop dripping too. Yeah. But then it started again, and I don't. We thought, what in the world? I think I've got a cap I could. So. 
Hey, how's it going, Jonah? Good, I've already poured out reservoir. Okay, good deal. We're gonna go feed the forested pigs. Okay. Um, Mr. Brown wants to go. I know some of you guys want to go. So let's go, but first, this is where it leaked. All the way down into the basement. One thing I'm very excited about is the cows were right here. They're gonna be right here. For the first time, they're gonna go into our silvo pasture. And I guarantee you, eat this luscious grass and enjoy the shade of these locust trees. Our hard work, it's, it's gonna pay off. They're gonna come in here and enjoy this today. Boom. This is just their last week. I just can't get over the excitement. This tender grass coming up. All right, guys, how you doing? People want to know how you all doing. How's it going? Good. Manure got in the last little bit, so I just ditched it. Okay. So, did you watch out the pan, yeah. the bucket? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good job. Gallon and a half. I think we can get a little bit more. Did I do a good job milking? Yes. Very good job. Is this the pumpkin? Yeah. That's huge. Yeah, there's one bigger there, but it hasn't fallen it's over. It's still on? Okay, good. Yeah. Set that up on the porch and it'll cure. Randolph, what are you doing with this ladder? I'm up here trying to dry this water up where it's leaked a little. Okay. We're in good hands with Randolph. I'm going to get these cows up. We won't have time to go see them on the silvo pasture. We gotta eat breakfast. That, why am I in such a hurry? You guys wonder why I'm such a hurry? Because I want to eat breakfast. That's what this is all about. <laughs> if I'm fooling around out here all morning, I, we don't get to eat breakfast. All right, honey, that was it for a little while. It's sort of weird. Like, I want to be sad? No, I don't want to be sad. I get a break. I get a break. I don't have to milk one cow for a month. Come on, we'll see you again, too. It's not like, it's not like you're leaving us. All right, come on. Oh, nope, yep, 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 yep. Hey. Come on, sweet thing. This is Flossie's baby. We're not weaning her. So she gets to milk. She gets mama's milk during the day. Don't you get in that grain. Uh-uh. All right. Time to eat. Have you guys seen the measuring tape? I did. Where is it? It's, up, it's right here. Okay, good. They so what's for breakfast, guys? guys? Ice cream sundaes, eggs, greens, and beans. Nice. 18 inches. Ice cream sundae smoothie. What's in that, Anna? Mango, pineapple, yogurt, coconut oil. Yay. And honey. Yay. All right, so that's the yogurt uh -huh. from our farm. So refreshing after a hot morning. And look at the score of milk. And we're out of jars, aren't we, Anna? Yeah. Well, what do you like I do smoothie? Get low. Hey, Rebecca. Yeah, I'm here. 18 inches. Okay, I will, how many, I'll get them. I know how many. Okay. All right, thanks. All right, bye-bye. Fresh eggs, onions from the farm. Oh my gosh, cultured cream. That's what this is all about. That's what it's all about, right? That's why we do what we do. Make it all worth it. All right, you almost done, Jonah? You, you done, Josiah? Start cleaning up, okay? Oh my. Is that one cup, two cups? Two cups, cultured cream. It's gotta be ice cream in my future. Check in with Randolph. Looks like you got this taken care of, Randolph. Yeah, About an hour and a half detour. <laughs> yep. Okay, good. Looks good. It's a lot dryer already. What you doing now? I'm fixing to put them things on the wall, I think. Yes. Well, you need them up here then. Yeah, they're, they're a little bit wet still. Oh, are they? One of them, I think, is dry enough. But okay. I think I can maneuver them up here all right. Okay. Tell me and I'll help you get them up here when it's time. All right. What do you think, Rebecca? It looks great. It's in place. He's putting the cabinets up today. And then the stove will go here, and the cabinet will go here. What's going to go right here? Nothing. Wood on the wall. I'm very excited. Paint. Can you get paint up? You can get it up. Okay. All right. A few more things to do this morning before we edit, but 
Look at this beat. Are you kidding me? Look at that beat. That's a record beat. Being largely undigested and having a lot of amino acids. Well, I can't get through here because Randolph has put up his ladder with a fan to dry that out. Man, I'm so glad he's taking this serious. We're gonna have to go around. So what I was saying there is, this ends up being a great source of food for the pig. Yeah, I know, it sounds gross. It's also serving as a great wallow. I can't put a wallow in here because this mulch would get wet, therefore not absorbing the manure and pee. Their manure and pee. But when you put a cow manure in there, watch, they're gonna wallow in it. After they've gotten their feel. Look, he's just been wallowing all up in it. No, don't, don't lick me, not after that. <laughs> Our morning swill. It's still too hot, fellas. All right, time to go to my happy place. Getting the editing on for you guys today. Taking a break for lunch. Kohlrabi? No. Kohlrabi soup? Broccoli. Broccoli soup. Look at this though, Rebecca. It's only two o'clock. This is what I'm so very excited about. Yep. It's a lot of space. Like, look, man. That's all, everything you didn't have before. Yeah. And now I have a nice little bookshelf over here. I'm very excited. I have a knife magnet that I want you to hang on the wall. Yeah. And we'll tile around it. Or should we tile it and then hang the knife magnet on top of it? And you won't see this, right? Because this the, the hood will be here. We want it to be high enough. Because the say the stove is sit here, maybe? It'll be right there. Oh, okay. Back the stove. The hood will probably be there right in here. Come. Huh. Me in. Should we put that there or should we put it somewhere else? Where are you gonna be doing most of your cutting? I was gonna put it over the stove. Should we put it like over here? That's better. Over here? Yeah, because I, I don't know if there's enough space for the I know, right it's there. true. And it'd get be all greasy all the time. So this was so low. This was low because he cut out up there. That's gonna be so much nicer. Hey Pop, did we pass the inspection? <laughs> Boy, this is looking really good. good. I didn't know which door to come in. Oh yeah. Hello, Mr. Brown. How are you? Huh? Are you doing okay? <laughs> Beauty is shopping for a air conditioning unit for the Coolbot. Oh boy. Uh, it's wide. It's 26 inches wide. Okay. It's not going to be able to go in between two beams. So that's 23. But the good answer is these 6x6 six six beams. Plenty of room, so we can frame out. We can frame that out. Our guest room has become the kitchen, the kitchen it's closet, the, the kitchen cabinet. Well, and I don't know how much of this is going back in. I did. Because Mama yeah. is liking the minimalism. So um, the big beams, we have plenty of room between. There's like five feet between. Okay. But the two by fours, it's going to be restructured. Okay, I think we're. It's probably not a big deal. It's not a big deal. The only reason we put those two by fours up in between. Oh yeah. Was for right. the insulation, so we don't even okay. have to like okay. work it. He just will just move it over probably to be a support. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. We gotta see us as the old people. Here, take your screen filter off. <laughs> Is that the Facebook app? No, it's not a Facebook. Is it's that's... just called Face App. That's what you're gonna Face look like when app. you're old. Oh yeah, that's so real. You're gonna look like that. When you're old. Oh my gosh. I like it. I like that white beard. That's so funny. Mom, what are you going to Still got that like? shirt. That's an enduring shirt. <laughs> <laughs> they do old man for little kids. They do. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like, it looks like an old lady. Hold it steady. Drag. You guys want to go? We got 10 minutes. 
Wait, we do? Yeah, we got 10 minutes. With just 10 minutes, we could maybe at least go out there and maybe see what we're gonna need. The rush is we wanna get the cows in, well, we don't put the milking cows in there, uh, but we would put bear and stud muffin in there to clear that forest before the pigs go in there on Sunday. The cows are in here now, but I don't think they've been down here. No. They haven't been down here yet. Okay, we have some uh, posts there and a line. We have all these lines, Jonah. We can't get up, we don't need them anymore. Mow through here. We wanna get the cows in there to start clearing it. We can get the cows through right here, Jonah. We need two handles to open up this perimeter fence. And we need to run the mower through here to run a line. And then the cows go in here. Probably just kick that over. Nope. Uh-oh, we might need the chainsaw. Actually, what about your sawzall, Jonah? Your sawzall. Water. Is our old uh, cow water trough out here still? Nope. Okay, we gotta bring one of those. Okay. <laughs> I am thinking we need to get them in here tonight because that needs pigs going in there on Sunday. So today is Thursday. If we wait till tomorrow, that's only Saturday. one day. So today, we need to get them in there today to give them two days. The uh, countertop? No, so the countertop is only an inch and a quarter high. And then he'll put the window seal on top of that. Okay. It'll be a wooden window seal on top of it. And we'll caulk it. What kind It'll of be a caulk. All right. It passed the grandma test. Yes. Wait till tomorrow. Okay. All right. That's when the sink comes. Yay. Yep. Yeah, that'll be wonderful. And uh, let's see. We've got chili, chili pie and salad and Darcy's dressing. Yay, Darcy's That's what it's all about right here. Working together, now eating together. We just ate supper, we're about to go out into the forest to clear for these cows. Jonah said something's wrong with the goose. He, just was, he was just laying funny, he was like his wing was beside, he was like weird. You see how he's just like, he like, he won't squawk. It might be just because it's hot. Have you seen him do that before? No. It's kind of panting. It wouldn't hurt Lily to put apple cider vinegar in that water tomorrow. Okay? Okay. First up, a gate into there so we can actually get them in there. So I need to go around, pick up any, actually sawzall, anything that is in the way so that then we can mow. Okay, next we're going to roll up this old wire from when they were in there and put it around in here. You gotta be kidding me. What? We are probably 12 feet away. We need 12 more feet of line. We'll, we'll use this old line from the last time we did a temporary lane. I patched my line. The boys got us our water going, filling up. We're ready. See, we've got a little bit of a temp line right there. Permanent line right there. It's a bit of a funnel. I'm gonna try to herd stud nothing down against that and in here without hurting the mamas. They're eating that tender grass in between the brambles. Like this, this, this stuff in between. They say one sheep can follow one cow without taking any without putting any more burden on the land because sheep will eat more of the brambly, weedy type of stuff. We're gonna see, we're getting five, we're getting five. First week of September. There you go. Got him going the right direction now. I really don't have, oh. I just don't have enough. There's no way we're gonna herd stud muffin into that broad funnel. So I think the only thing we can do is build a lane off the lane and to get him in there, but I'm calling it for tonight. What do you think? 
Maybe the first thing in the morning. They ended up down here in the new savanna. Loving the grass. Loving the trees for scratching on. Stud muffins just going to town. <laughs>